really good for Lita right now because Lita's also got a huge army. And he's got enough tanks on hand to clean this up, plus the vessel to deal with the Arbiter. Um, I think that EMP missed though. Some decent Arbiter micro there. Recall on the tanks! So it's a recall bomb. And some nice storms included there, so um, movies managed to clean up those reinforcements and take out um, and take out that third base of Lita's. So this is going to be um, this could be very close all of a sudden. Um, movies rebuilding his tech, um, but critically, Lita's production has not been affected by this. He hasn't lost a large amount of factories. Nice cluster of storms though, taking out um, taking out a number of tanks. Lita's, Lita's tanks way too clumped up there, just getting a ton of them stormed to death. That is going to really slow Lita's, um, slow Lita's advance toward the bottom left down, and this might give Movie a chance to, um, a chance to do some pretty severe damage. Um, that Arbiter is nearly dead. That Arbiter is down before it can really do much. So that force has been cleaned up, but, um, we're getting into a pretty low economy situation. More storms cure clearing out tanks. Um, critically, that Stargate that was at uh, Movies 3rd is still, or sorry, at Movies Natural is still powered, unless that was somewhere else. Um, weak stasis there, only catching one tank, but it looks like Movie might just have enough forces to push up in here anyway. More very effective storms. Movie's storms have been very good this game, and um, he is just um, fighting his way back or gaining position. It's really hard to tell just who's at the advantage right now. Um, I would have to think after losing such a huge chunk of his army to all those storms um, that Movie is slightly ahead, but again, Lita hasn't lost any of his factories. Movie's lost a ton of gateways in addition to a lot of units that were being recalled. Um, and a vessel snipe there as well. Um, here comes a shuttle in, and I don't know what's in there, but that should be able to harass at that expansion pretty effectively. Um, it's high Templar, and wait a minute, that's not harassing at all. Those are some defensive Templar looking to storm this attacking force, but um, movie's at risk of losing all of the gateways that he has up there. He's got the DT out, but there's a vessel on hand to cover for it. Um, this is really intense play. It's going to be hard to say how this one is going to turn out. Movie losing more bases, but he's got some DTs in. Um, he's got some DTs harassing in an undefended position. This is going to be really low economy for both players. Um, Lita's main has to be mined out by now. His natural just about, if it isn't completely. EMP catching the arbiters, so that's going to be very helpful for. Um, it's going to be very helpful for Lita there. That is going to um, it's going to delay any sort of recalls or stasis. Losing another ar losing another arbiter to a turret. I don't know why Protoss players keep doing this. It just seems so clumsy to me. Though granted, Movie has a lot to be concerned with. So Movie has got um, Movie has got the bottom left man. He's looking to take the natural there, but um, he's just kept on losing all sorts of his unit production facilities. He is going to be able to keep pumping out arbiters, but um, the ground army that's going to supplement those arbiters is going to be small for a while. In the meantime, Lita is having a difficult time securing additional mining bases, so both of these players might just find themselves getting um, getting starved for minerals and just having a really difficult time um, continuing this game. This has been a real war of attrition throughout. Um, big stasis there, catching five tanks. That's going to give that's going to give Movie the room to move here, and Lita taking a big gulp there. He's got to be a little bit nervous. His forces have been thinned out quite a bit, and being being short five tanks that are about to just get surrounded and crushed by this big army is not going to be good for him. More more decent storms there for Movie. Movie is um, pushing in. In the meantime, big vulture raid for Lita is going to take out a ton of probes and um, some of the tech as well. So um, we might end up seeing an elimination race um, or just a um, or just a very low economy a very low economy slugfest to the end here, one of the two. Um, 
Let's see, here we go. Lita is now pushing. Lita is now pushing in toward the. Um, Lita is now pushing in toward the choke of. Um, sorry, Movie is pushing in toward Lita's choke. More storms clearing out tanks. Movie storming again has been really on the ball this game. More EMPs. Catching one of those arbiters, but I don't think it got the second one. Um, and mines clearing out the remainder of Movie's attack there. Um, this is really intense. There's an Archon in the mineral line, which is going to do a bunch of damage, but it's really hard to get an idea of what the overall status of these armies are. Um, EMP on the um, EMP on the Archon and the SCVs and tanks, they're able to just kill it pretty easily. But it looks like Movie's slightly ahead, but that's also just because we haven't seen much of an army from Lita. Maybe it's because he doesn't have one, or maybe it's because it's just committed elsewhere. But, um... Yeah, um, Movie is just continuing to push up and gain, um... And gain ground, so I have to think that, um... I have to think that it's favoring Movie at the moment, but it's still just very hard to tell. This is very close, very intense. It's a high-stakes game, and these players are playing it like it's one. Um, that's a lot of factories for Lita, but um, I don't know where he's got the economy to um, power out units. He's got a couple of hundred minerals in the bank and a very slow trickle flow of incoming uh, of incoming resources, but he's not mining very much at all. I think Movie has got the bottom left mining, and that's it. So this is going to be... Um, if Lita has to do this just with what he has on the ground, then he's going to probably be screwed. But if he's um, if he's got a secure um, flow of resources, he will um, he'll have a chance here. Um, speaking of flow, the sweat is starting to flow from him. Um, this is a pretty nerve-wracking game for both players, I'm sure. But since it looks like Lita is a bit behind here, all the more so for him. Um, also, another advantage for the Protoss when they get mined out is that they can go for um, they can go for Templars, which are not very uh, mineral-heavy units, and um, and they can use them to pretty great effect in the late game with either you know um, storms which regenerate as the as the energy um, as the energy recovers, or um, for, by morphing into Archons, which are not the most effective against Terran units, but in a low economy pinch they'll do the trick. Um, more vulture harassment from Lita here. That's about all that he can muster at the moment. He's got to defend his remaining holdings. He's finally set his third base back up, and Movie is just continuing to push it. Um, Mine's taking out those Goliaths, and it looks like Movie has got enough to actually um, shut this base down once and for all here. This is critical. EMP on the Archons. That is going to... Um, Definitely slow things, but EMPing the Archons means that's one EMP that's not going on the Arbiters. Movie takes down that third base again. In the meantime, it looks like he's got enough um, enough of an income to produce a swarm of Zealots that are going to eventually just kill all those Vultures. I think Movie has just taken the game here, and you can argue that he might have had it a few minutes ago, but I think it's just been really hard to really hard to call. GG from Lita. Um, Upset victory for Movie here, and CJ Entis wins this first best of seven in the ace match in dramatic fashion. There have been some really wicked games here, and none more exciting, I think, than this ace game we just had. Wow, what a game that was. Movie high-fiving his team. Um, I think there's a little bit of dialogue there between Movie and Much. Um, Much, of course, Movie's Protoss mentor on the CJ Entis team. Lita is... Lita is wrecked. He's lost both of his games, and he really needed to win them. Height had pinned all of their hopes on him. I can't tell if that's exhaustion or sadness, and Lita is actually crying there. Um, the video the video feed ends here, so it's going to be um, one of those unknowables. We're not going to see what happens when he lifts his head and whether his face is going to be full of tears. But, um, yeah, the pressure is now all on Height to perform in um, the second Best of Seven series. And just try to um, to try to force that um, to try to force that game that um, match deciding ace match. So excitement ought ensue here. Um, I will try to cast that second 
um, that second series that's going to be happening actually today. Um, I think that's starting in about two hours from when I'm finishing recording this. I don't think I'm going to do all the casting today. My throat is getting pretty sore just from all of this. But um, I will try to get those up and on YouTube pretty soon. So thanks for watching this whole series. And have a good day. Image out. And again, leave a comment if you have one. Cheers.